so this is the second video of cabin noise reduction what we are going to do today is uh, trying to reduce the road noise and tire noise so the very first thing we need to do for that is remove our tire and set the vehicle on jack So the very next thing we need to do is we need to remove the fender liner. It has a couple of screws uh, this side and some on the front wall as well and some under this bonnet, not bonnet, bumper as well. So we'll remove it. As you can see we have removed the inner fender liner a lot of dust we definitely need to clean it before we're doing anything so this is the condition as you can see uh, this is kind of dirt accumulation and behind that there is a foam this is what stops road noise and tire noise from coming inside but after 6-7 years this foam usually gets deteriorated and there's one more layer of protection on the behind of inner fender liner uh, here is inner fender liner uh, you can see it is more kind of felt lining but in a very small portion of the fender liner so firstly we'll clean it all and then I'll show you what to do next So the interior side of the fender lining or actually the actual body of the car is clean now to work as well as the fender liner itself is now clean. So what we need to do is we remove the old material as much as we can. Now we are going to add our own material on the top of it which is this thermo acoustic blanket. Uh, it is actually not the correct application for this thing but you can use the damping sheets which we use in our audio applications as well but uh, my concern with that is that it's too heavy for the fender liner to carry so this is pretty much lightweight and very very uh, it's close to 3 to 4 mm including the silver lining so we are going to add this inner fender liner now so we have finally covered the inner fender liner in the insulation material uh, so this is our final result I kept it in shade so that it doesn't blind the uh, camera. One thing for sure, the inner fender liner looks dope now. I've covered it till this area. So now what we are left with is uh, to install it back again in the car. 